New guidelines are being published by the American College of Physicians for treating a disease caused primarily by smoking. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, is the fourth leading cause of death in America. Dr. Steven Weinberger of the American College of Physicians describes the disease, which includes both emphysema and chronic bronchitis. It occurs in the airways, uh, which are the, tu the tubes, really the pipes, that lead down to the lung tissue itself, the pipes through which air flows to get into the lungs. And smoking also damages the lungs uh, themselves. The guidelines published in Annals of Internal Medicine recommend doctors use spirometry only on patients who show symptoms <laughs> like chronic cough and wheezing to more severe symptoms like shortness of breath, poor exercise tolerance, and signs of heart failure. The recommendation that patients should have this tested when they have symptoms and that it not be used for broad screening is based on the fact that there is no real evidence that Picking up the disease early by spirometry actually changes the overall natural course of the disease. 87-year-old Harry Fazina is one of the millions of Americans suffering from COPD after smoking for nearly 60 years. I only had 50 percent capacity in my lung, and I was always very short of breath, and there was nothing I could do. I couldn't even lift the, <coughs> you know, take the trash cans out or anything like that. <coughs> Today, Harry relies on an oxygen tank in his home to help him breathe. Patients whose oxygen level is low because of severe COPD, they should be on extra oxygen. And that has clearly been shown to improve the patient's overall survival. Inhaled medications are also recommended to open up the airways and reduce inflammation. There were two sides of my COPD. One was to make sure I had enough oxygen. And the, the other thing is to make sure I took my, my door nabs, which is the respiration, um, and I take that four times a day. The most important thing that anyone with COPD can do is to stop smoking. On behalf of the American College of Physicians, I'm Sonia Martin.